Okay, I want to show the beginnings of the, the new project I'm going to be working on in the next week or so for Echolink. And I ordered this interface from China. There's a ham over there, a BD7JAD. And he makes these really, really nice uh, interfaces. Really, really nice, well-built units. Um, USB sound card built in. And uh, the uh, carrier operated squelch or core is all controlled through the box. So there's no external, it's just one single USB hookup. And then, of course, the, uh, the, uh, the hookups for your radio. So this is how it arrives. You know, you get your box, and it's a, like I said, it's a well built unit. It's not, I, I kind of thought it would be cheap feeling, but it's actually a very nice unit. That's the second one I bought. And then it comes with, of course, the USB cable. A CD with, uh, it's got Ham Radio Deluxe and a couple other programs on there. I'm not going to use it, but it, it does have it. And it, this particular unit will, will do a lot more than just Echolink. This, this cable that it comes with, and I guess this is the only one he provides, but it's for a, a, an FT817, a Yezu. And uh, it will do the, the uh, computer-controlled stuff. Uh, I believe this is for the, the uh, CW key that plugs in the back of the radio. Of course, this obviously plugs in the back of the, of the interface, and then you've got your regular 5-pin, uh, or I guess it's 6-pin, mini DIN for your standard audio connections like any of the other ham radios have. But, uh, like I said, this is the second one I bought, and the first one I had such good success with, I'm going to put this one at, the, uh, at my other site. So, I just want to kind of show you what it looks, this is a the first one I bought, but I just want to kind of show you what it looks like on the inside and what it's what it has, because you don't see very much. I haven't seen very much written about it on the internet, and I think it's because the 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 directions are, are all that I could find were all in Chinese, so I didn't see any translated instructions or anything. So I had to kind of figure it out on my own, and I'll I'll uh, put a link in the bottom in the description uh, to a link with the picture with the pinouts for this this connector in the back, so because you'll be completely lost if you don't have that. I just wanted to show you that, you know, it's got the two uh, 600 ohm isolation transformers. It's got a couple of uh, uh, opto isolators for the King. It's got one. It's labeled on the board. It's probably hard to see, but uh, one of them is is for uh, the DTR on the on the serial port, and one of them is for the RTS. So you actually got two. And then, uh, like I said, it's got its built-in audio card, and this is a standard CM08 or CM08 CM108 uh, sound card so uh, it's really a nice unit like I said it's really built well it's it's not it's not just a something you know it's not like a, it doesn't feel like a toy and uh, it, on the back here of course it's got a connection for the the serial port and uh, the uh, for the radio the radio interface for the cost and the in and out for the audio and all that good stuff, and then it's got a switch over here. I think this is for the uh, the uh, computer the computer tun tuning for uh, like a 817. You can switch it from line level to 232. And uh, it has a it's it's it has a place for a hand mic here, but it's not populated on the board. And I and I was looking on the internet, and but apparently he had a uh, he had one that was that did have a hand mic, and maybe it didn't work out. Or wasn't very reliable, so he took that off. But uh, anyway, that's it. And the plan is to uh, interface. We're going to interface this with one of these uh, ICOM 221s. This is a UHF radio, and we're going to run SV Link, which is a Echo Link software program, on the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to. It's going to be basically this setup here. It's going to be. The Raspberry Pi controlling this, and of course that controlling the radio. And then on top of that, we're going to get this is a UHF model 221. I have an identical one that's a VHF, which is a 121. And I have one of the uh, TNC X uh, Raspberry Pi daughter boards, which basically you know it mates with that connector to the top of the Raspberry Pi, and it's its own built-in TNC. So we're going to run. A digipeter off the VHF, and then of course the Echolink off the uh, the UHF. 
So that's the plan. So if you run across one of these on eBay, these, uh, you know, I was looking, if you research uh, BD7JAD, uh, you have to kind of search around a lot, but he's, he had one that was a, this is a Link 2, and he had one that was a Link 3 that had a, uh, I guess a line, a level control or something in the front here, but apparently I don't know if it didn't work or whatever, but he's, I think he, this is the only model he sells now. But uh, it's like I said, it's a real good unit. You, you can't go wrong with it. And uh, you know, this is what I was using before for Echo Link was this is the, the Fox Delta. And it works fine, but it's, it's just not as well integrated like this one. You know, you have your the stuff I really can't stand is, is you know, they're using these, you know, like little mini stereo connectors or what are they, the eighth, uh, eighth inch uh, stereo connectors. And then, you know, of course, he's got this over here. And, but, you know, the nice thing about this one is, you know, this one requires external power. You know, you've got this wire over here, and you've got the, the wire coming out going to the mic and the sound card and the one going to the line in. You know, with this thing, everything's, it's all integrated. So you just have the one cable, you know, going into the, to the, from here to the Raspberry Pi or the computer, whatever you're using, and then you have this going to your radio, and that's it. So it's, it's really well integrated as, as far as I'm concerned. So that's it for now, I guess. Probably sometime this week I'll put the whole thing together and show you how it, how it works. But it does, it does work well. I've, I've been using this one for a while. But uh, until then.